friends, and welcome to the Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. This is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy, and today we are going to talk about the events that have taken place this weekend. Most importantly, we are going to talk about the official unveiling of Thrawn. Now, if you were or have played the game in the last couple of weeks, then you have seen the teaser for the live stream that took place on June 10th. And the first thing time it was sent out, it said 4.30, the updated version said 1, and so there was a little confusion about that. So people tuned in, I tuned in, I was really, really excited, and there was a two and a half minute interview about Thrawn. And it was frustrating, it was really frustrating, we didn't get a ton of information from that interview. We were told a few different things. One, the events, the legendary event where players can unlock Thrawn will take place on the 15th of June. Two. Thrawn is the first Imperial Cleanser, and three, he would have an ability where that we haven't seen in the game before. Now, it, wasn't, it wasn't a lot of information we hadn't seen before, and it definitely wasn't information that we hadn't known already, and so it was a little disappointing. Now, later that day, we on the forums, there was a post that said, hey, just so you know, the Game Changers are going to be able to have video Game Changers are a group of people, a group of uh, YouTubers who also love the game, who have early access to the game. It's not that they themselves have early access to the characters for their personal accounts, but they can actually see before they can actually see these updates before the information is, is launched, and player and then make videos about it, even make suggestions on how EA and others can improve it, that kind of stuff. They live streamed on Sunday, June 11th, and they were able to show actual gameplay footage. Now, since I don't have access to that, I personally am not a game changer, no matter how many times I have contacted the EA people to see what I can do. Maybe one day. But, until that day happens, I was watching Mobile Gamer's video. Now, his live stream is about an hour long, and that's about all the time they had to actually play with the material, manipulate the material, and and see really how Thrawn worked in different situations. Now, as I was watching Mobile Gamer's video, I took some notes on specifically on Thrawn's abilities. Now, there are five abilities that Thrawn gets. Now, the thing you need to know about Thrawn's abilities are that, is that they play in two different arenas. And what I mean by that is they, they function one way in everything PvP and PvE, then they function a totally different way with within the raid. Now that is a really unique way to approach it. We haven't seen that before. And it's really kind of cool. His first ability is called Manipulate. It deals special damage to target enemy, grants them speed up for one turn, or if they already had ability lock, inflicts stun for one turn. And I think that might be ability block. Um, Inflict stun for one turn instead. When the speed up expires, inflict ability block for one turn. Now this is his basic attack, right? That's that's pretty sweet. But why would they have speed up for one turn? Well, it speeds them up, makes them go faster, and then once they go faster, once they've gone already, they get in they get ability block, right? Now keep that in mind. For later on. Now that's for just PvE PvP, right? Now his this ability for raid bosses deals special damage to target enemy and inflicts and inflicts defense down for two turns, which can't be resisted. Now that is pretty sweet. Defense down on on uh, the rancor, defense down on the tank is going to really make a difference in the raid, especially since it can't be. Fracture deals special damage to target enemy four times, dispels all bugs on them, removes 50% turn meter, and inflicts Fracture until the start of Thrawn's next turn, or until he is defeated. This Fracture can't be dis copied or dispelled, and the attack can't be evaded or resisted. Now, Fracture means one thing for PvE, PvP, and something else for the raids. For Fracture on characters, so PvE, PvP. Speed set to zero, can't gain buffs, bonus attacks, or bonus turn meter. So they can still gain their turn meter, but not bonus turn meter. Fraction on raids, minus 50% speed, 
doesn't stack with speed down. Okay, so imagine this. You throw Fracture on the tank right before it topples. You are going to have a ton of time to do some massive damage during phase two and four of the tank raid. That is going to be ridiculous. I look forward to seeing that in action. His next ability, Grand Admiral's Command, swap turn meter with target ally, dispel all debuffs on Thrawn and that ally. And they recover 40% protection. So that's pretty sweet. His leadership ability is phenomenal. Legendary Strategist, Empire allies have plus 15% max protection, plus 25% offense, and gain 20% turn meter whenever they resist a detrimental effect or suffer a debuff. Whenever an Empire ally gains or loses a status effect, not positive, that's positive or negative, they recover 2% protection. Empire allies gain a new special ability called Maneuver, which dispels all debuffs on this character and gain 50% turn meter for three turns. So when you, so think about it this way. In a lot of the new events, there's that, that ability that characters get that they can, you know, uh, tank, take someone's turn meter or um, remove, give yourself health or stuff like that. This is an ability that a character has. This is the first time we've seen this as a specific character ability that they can give to someone else. That is awesome. That is super amazing. I am really looking forward to seeing that. Now, his final ability is called Ebb and Flow. Thrawn has plus 100% counter chance, 100% tenacity, and minus 50% speed while an enemy, while any enemies are fractured. When another, en when another Empire ally uses a special ability while Thrawn is active, that ally gains 15% turn meter, and if any enemies are fractured, Thrawn and Fractured Enemies lose 15% turn meter. So one of the things I noticed in, I believe it was Arnold 101, his live stream, um, he showed a clip of Thrawn's abilities, or Thrawn's stats. Now Thrawn has 150 speed, which is well above the average, or the median, for most characters, right? So he's a fast character, right? With Fracture, what's happening is you remove 50% turn meter from that character until the start of Thrawn's next turn. But then that character's speed is set to zero. It's essentially a stun that will last until Thrawn's next turn. Now, every time a, a special ability is used, if someone has Fracture set on them, Thrawn loses 15% turn meter and so does the the character right so does the enemy that is a very powerful ability now while thrawn is not going keep in mind that he has a 100 percent counter chance so anytime anytime he is hit he's going to hit back now he's going to hit back for possibly a speed up or a stun if they have an ability lock, right? So imagine that. Thrawn literally is a stunning character. And metaphorically. This is amazing. This is really, really cool. So all of you people who have been worried and said, oh, Thrawn's worthless, or I don't like Thrawn, which I don't know how you can't like Thrawn, read the book. It's amazing. I like the originals. I love the new one. The the new Thrawn that came out, I believe, in March. Phenomenal. Probably one of my favorite new canon books, period. Regardless of whether you like him or not, Grand Admiral Thrawn in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes is going to be a game changer. You are going to want to farm the Phoenix Squadron so that you can unlock this character. Even if you never use the Phoenix Squadron again, you are going to want to have Thrawn. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I fully anticipate talking more about this. I want to hear your thoughts. Let's talk about it. Leave a comment in the section below. This has been Thaddeus from Going Nerdy, and as always, my friends, 
Stay nerdy.